Hello there. I wasn't expecting to see a new face around here any time soon. What's your name? Really? That sounds so... unique. It isn't like any other name I've ever heard of. Wait a second. Are you perhaps... not from here? You don't think so? Oh, this place doesn't seem familiar to you? You're confused? What about? How and why you're here? Don't you know? Well, in case you weren't aware, this is a research facility of sorts. They do experiments on us, different tests. They call us patients, but we all know we're just test subjects. If you're here, that means you have something worth testing. What's considered worth testing? Well, for most of us, it's because we were born with certain abilities that other people don't have. Others, it's because we were born with physical features that others don't have. For me, it's a bit of both. Want to see something cool? Just don't tell anyone I showed you this, all right? I could get in a lot of trouble. Look! I have wings. Yeah, they're kind of like bird's wings, or so I'm told. And they didn't mean to do this when they made me, but I can even phase through walls and ceilings too. Any solid material, I can get through it. Huh? Oh, no. I wasn't born like you were. I was created. What do I mean by that? Well, what else would I mean by it? They took different materials and they made me. I don't know how. I don't know what they used to make me, but when they did it, they altered my DNA somehow, I guess. And now I'm me. Yeah, I've been here all my life. I've never seen the outside world. Except for a little window in my room. But I don't mind that. I like it here. I feel safe here. Do you feel safe? No? Why not? Oh, because you don't know anyone here? You don't know what your ability is? How very odd, then. I wonder how they could have found it. No, they don't make mistakes. If you're here, you're meant to be here. Oh, I'm sure. And don't worry. If you don't know what your ability is, you'll find out eventually. They'll tell you. They have it in a little file with your name on it. Who are they? The scientists, of course. The people who do tests on us. What kind of tests? Well, it depends on your ability or physical trait. For me, well, they don't really test on me much anymore. They've exhausted all of their efforts. There's not a single thing I can't go through. Not a single height I can't fly to. So, they get bored with me, quite easily. Whenever they try to test on me, they always say, as expected, or as usual. 
I'm sure they'll have a lot of interest in you, though. You seem very interesting, to me at least. Yeah, I have met someone else who was from the outside world. Someone who was meant to be here, but didn't know it until they got a lot older. I don't know where they went, though. I haven't seen them in a while. Oh, it's quite possible that they died. People die here all the time. They get sick, they get injured. Sometimes they have pre-existing medical conditions that no one knows about. So they die. No, I don't think it's from the tests. Well, everyone always says it's not from the tests, so it can't be from those, right? I concern you? Why? Oh, I'm not being too overbearing, am I? No? Then, what's concerning about me? Oh, I seem a bit too happy. And what? Clueless? I don't know what you're talking about. Really, I don't. I don't seem to know what's going on here. Well, of course I do. I've been here all my life. I know lots of things. For instance, I know that every hallway and every room has a camera in it. They're always listening to us and always watching us. Is that useful information? I'm glad you think so. Of course, they're not allowed to put cameras in the bathroom since... That would be an invasion of our privacy, and since that would technically be peeping. Oh, of course, I can show you where the restrooms are. There's one in every room, and three in every hallway. Why three? Well, there's one for people who identify as male, one for people who identify as female, and one for those who identify as something else. It can be non-binary, it can be really anything as long as it's not male or female. Yeah, as strict as this place is, it's very open-minded when it comes to things like that. Which bathroom are you going to be using? Okay, they're all in the same place, right here. Notice how there are no cameras on the outside, either. Only at the ends of the halls and near the doors to the other rooms. Why aren't there cameras outside of the bathrooms? Well, there was a bit of an unlucky streak where patients were getting the flu, so they got nauseated really easily, and they ended up getting sick just outside of the bathrooms. People really didn't want to have to watch that first thing in the morning, so they removed the cameras. We can talk freely here. No. No, I really don't feel safe here. And you shouldn't either. I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know why they're doing it. All I know is why you come here. And why you leave. You only leave if you die. Or if something happens and they make a mistake. Only for those reasons. Mistakes can include misdiagnosis. For example, thinking that someone has a special ability when they really don't. That might be why you think you don't belong here. Maybe you don't. They make mistakes a lot. That's why people die. No, 
People never get sick here. We're always kept perfectly healthy. When people were getting the flu, that was a mistake. They tried injecting live viruses into us to see if we could somehow fight it off. We couldn't. No, it's different from a vaccine. A vaccine is a dead virus. What they were using, it was still alive. In fact, it wasn't just the flu they used. Some of us got malaria, some of us got rabies. They didn't bother doing anything with me, though. They can't afford to risk my life. See, I was the first one they created. They call me Edit because I was their first attempt at altering human genetics. They don't understand why I have my abilities. They were trying to do something else, but I don't know what it was. I think that might be why they take people with certain abilities. They're trying to figure out how to replicate those abilities in others. They cut people open. They run different tests. They take blood samples, tissue samples, sometimes even bone marrow. That doesn't sound as bad as the others, but if you knew the pain that people were in, you'd be telling a different story. I can't leave this place. You see, when I was first born, they put a tracking device in me. Oh. Technically, I was born. But as soon as I was, they took me away from my mother. And they brought me here. They told me that I was created, but whatever they did to me, it enhanced my memory. I remember every second of my life, down to every last detail. I remember my mom. I remember being born. They... They changed me so drastically that they couldn't ever let me leave. So they put a tracking device in me somewhere. I can't find it, and... Around this whole area? An electric fence. I can phase through solid materials, but if I tried to go through that fence, even if I was able to phase through the wires, I'd still get shocked. You don't understand. It isn't just a little shock. This isn't a cattle farm meant to keep animals inside. It's meant to make sure nothing in here gets out alive. I don't know how many volts it is, but it's enough to kill you. I've seen someone run into it before. They missed their family. They wanted to escape. So they ran to the fence. They didn't hear it humming. They were panicking too much. They died. They don't let me outside to fly. And even if I phased through the walls... They would shoot me. Immediately. That's what I've been working on. I'm trying to find a way out of this place. The people who are here, they don't deserve to be tortured. And I... I want 
to find my family. I miss them so much. Even if you don't have an ability, will you help me? I don't know what part you'll play in my plan, but I could use someone like you on my side. I can already tell you're very smart. You picked up on all of my signals. I was trying to be extra happy earlier so you'd get suspicious. Then you said that I was clueless and... I knew you took the bait. So I told you about the cameras. You understood immediately. I need someone like you. Don't say such things about yourself. I can already tell you're very clever. I need your help. Everyone here? They don't know what's going on. All they know is that this place isn't safe. They don't know what I'm planning to do. And they can't ever find out. Why not? Because of what they're put through. When they're taking bone marrow samples, you know? They'll ask questions. When you're in enough pain, you'll blurt anything out just to distract yourself. Why trust you? Because I don't think you belong here. And once they figure that out, it'll be easy for them to do so. They won't let you leave. No. No. The people who are brought here by mistake, they leave here. But they never really leave. They're brought somewhere else. Somewhere still on this territory. I don't know where. I don't know what's done to them. But you will not be permitted to go home. You've seen too much already. They won't risk anything until they're sure you belong here. So until that time comes, I need your help. Can you do this? Can you help me?